Hello and welcome to the Laser Bits YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about Surmark and Thermark. Both of these products allow you to create black onto stainless steel, chrome, other metals using your laser engraver. But there's two different products. The first product, Surmark, uh, is made by the Ferro Corporation and the other product, Thermark, is made by Thermark Holdings LLC. The two products we're going to look at today, we're going to examine uh, application, um, how it works, and the benefits and features of both products. Let's get started. We've applied some Surmark to this stainless steel plate. You notice it goes on as a coating, and in this case we've sprayed it on. This is the LMM 6000 product. The LMM 6000 product has been around for well over 15 years and has really become the industry standard for laser marking metals. The coating goes on nice and smooth and you'll notice that there's no drips or runs on there. Really you want to apply a thin coating to it just enough so you don't see the color of the metal coming through. The most important feature about the Surmark LMM 6000 product is, is that it dries to the touch. This is a huge issue and really should be considered as something very, very critical and you'll understand in a moment. But these products you can spray on and then you can store them and then come back and then engrave the plate at any time. As long as the plate doesn't get wet, then you're in good shape to engrave it. So a lot of our high volume customers, they'll spray a thousand or more of these different types of plates or metal products and then engrave them over a period of time. The other thing that you'll notice is, is that when it's smooth to touch, it doesn't come off on our hands. So this is important as far as a safety issue, as far as using these materials in a work environment. Now we're comparing the Thermark LMM14 product. This product has been sprayed on the same manner that the Surmark has been sprayed on. It goes on in a nice even coating. Uh, but the first thing you'll notice is, is that this material is a powder. It goes on as a powder and it's very soft to the touch. And now we're going to illustrate just how soft it is by using a brush. So we've applied the Thermark, the LMM14 product, and now you'll see that it dries to a powder. I've applied some gloves and I'm using a mask to protect me from the powder getting onto my skin or into my lungs. So now we're going to show you that this powder just wipes right off of here. And this is a problem and can sometimes, uh, while, this, while the part is in the system, can actually be drawn off by either the air assist or actually the exhaust system. And this will cause a density shift in the engraving quality. Now we're going to engrave the two coated plates. For the Thermark example, we're going to turn off the air assist so as to not blow off any of that coating material on there. We're using a 50 watt laser system. We're going to engrave at a speed of 40 and a power of 100. Comparing the engraving results, we have the LMM14 sample on the, my right side and on my left side you'll see the LMM6000 sample. The LMM6000 sample, much blacker looking engraving. The LMM14 sample looks good, but definitely not as black as the LMM6000 example. Comparing the Surmark LMM6000 and the Thermark LMM14, both of these products apply easily and go onto the metal and flow out nice and smooth. What we did see is, is that the LMM6000 created a much blacker looking engraving. That's important because customers demand the best possible quality. What we also found was, was that the Thermark LMM14 dried to a powder. So you notice I was wearing gloves and a mask when applying these two things. Definitely there is a potential for inhaling that powder material. That's a potential safety hazard. Also you want to make sure that you don't get any of that powder material onto your hands as well. So from a safety aspect I would definitely look at the LMM6000 from Surmark as a safer product to use. The other thing that we find is, is that the Surmark LMM6000 product has a much more 
uh, robust amount of testing that's been done over the last 15 to 18 years. So our industrial customers like jet engine manufacturers, uh, commercial uh, boat and uh, vessel manufacturers that need that super durability, even customers like NASA that have been using the LMM 6000 to mark uh, all sorts of uh, space components. They want that super durability on a wide range of metals and so uh, what we believe is is that the LMM 6000 is a preferred product and so that concludes our comparison today. Thanks for tuning in.